Welcome to Mock Fishing. In this episode, I'll go over my kayak crabbing setup. Yep. Okay. Happy New Year's and Happy 2020. Sorry it took me so long to put out a new video, but I've been sick for the last month, so you could probably hear it in my voice. But hopefully you'll enjoy this short video I put together. Okay, here's some of the basic uh, equipment I'll need. This is a barrel that's temporarily mounted to the front of my kayak where I would store the crabs that I catch before I call them and permanently put them in the wooden basket behind me where I sit on my kayak. We have the basket, I've got a wide mouth basket. So I'll be able to hold on to the big crabs when they come up. The smaller baskets, when I hit a big crab, the crabs get out. Then I got a boat hook. I used to get the line over the prop stick and off the prop stick. And it's handy if you ever get your line caught in your Mirage Drive in a Hobie or your motor in another boat. It's easy to use that to get the uh, rope out. And that is the prop stick. That's where the baited line goes over. And this is what I store the bait in and the crabs. Just a big Pepsi barrel that's cut in half. And then I try to keep the side I enter the kayak on clear. So there's nothing on this side. My fish finder and my paddle is on my left side because I like entering from the right side. In this particular case, I'll have a Bixby motor to assist. I haven't put it on yet, but that's the basics. And then we'll have the basket that'll go in the back that the crabs will go in. Here is an example of me deploying a line baited with chicken necks from the front barrel. I store my legal crabs in the wooden basket in the rear of my kayak. Now here's the basket on the boat with the Bixby motor. I have this upside down basket here where the bottom was cut off so that the crabs will have a hard time getting out of bushel basket because in a kayak when you're trying to put those crabs back there they start jumping all over the place and you'll probably lose some if you have a full basket. Here is a picture of my kayak outfitted for crabbing. And here's the weight that will attach to this float, that will attach to that line, and then it will attach to one of these chains. And then I would put the baited chicken neck line or clam bag line next, and then on the other end of the clam bag line would be another chain, then this other line that goes to this float that will go to this anchor. And that's how it's set up. To anchor this, or mount, mount this barrel, mount this barrel, I'll put it on top of the outback, and I have two bungees that are going through the outback bungees. So no holes need to be drilled. The outback has a kind of semi-flat top. 
or it's concave but um, that's good enough for the basket to be on top without it rocking and because there's bungees I could lean this barrel forward to look at the crabs inside or get them here is a picture of a trout lining setup that I use as you can see in the image we start off with the anchor and there is a rope, a line, that goes up to the float and another line that goes down from the float to the chain that's at the bottom of the uh, river or estuary where you are. Then there's three to 1200 feet of baited line. It could be clam bags, chicken necks, you know, bull lips. And then there's another chain and the chain only holds the baited line on the bottom where the crabs are. And then another line goes up to the float, and another line goes down to another anchor. The anchor holds the floats in a certain location. So I hope this visual helps out. Okay, I'll bring some gloves to avoid the crabs from pinching me. Got some crab tongs to hold the crabs to get them out of the barrel crab measuring device I got my radio to communicate with anyone fish finder so I'm using it for depth and stuff to see how deep I am and I got bottled water and anything you want back here it's tethered so I can just pull it from the back and put it back there. Prop sticks on. Safety flag. Hopefully you have a better idea on how I catch my crabs on a kayak. Now go out and do it yourself and have some fun and catch some crabs. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.